Today, I feel compelled to discuss with you a matter of great importance. Some weeks ago, I released a statement regarding a course correction for the name of the Church. Many of our people are disturbed by the practice of the media and of many others to disregard totally the true name of the Church and to use the nickname the Mormon Church. Six months ago in our conference, Elder Russell M. Nelson delivered an excellent address on the correct name of the Church. I did this because the Lord impressed upon my mind the importance of the name He decreed for His Church, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He quoted the words of the Lord Himself, Thus shall my Church be called in the last days, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As you would expect, responses to this statement and to the Revised Style Guide have been mixed. Many members immediately corrected the name of the Church on their blogs and social media pages. Others wondered why, with all that's going on in the world, it was necessary to emphasize something so inconsequential. The Mormon Church, of course, is a nickname, and nicknames have a way of becoming fixed. I think of the verse concerning a boy and his name. Father calls me William, Mother calls me Will, Sister calls me Willie, but the fellers call me Bill. I suppose that regardless of our efforts, we may never convert the world to general use of the full and correct name of the Church. Because of the shortness of the word Mormon and the ease with which it is spoken and written, they will continue to call us the Mormons, the Mormon Church, and so forth. They could do worse. And some said it couldn't be done, so why even try? More than 50 years ago, when I was a missionary in England, I said to one of my associates, how can we get people, including our own members, to speak of the Church by its proper name? He replied, you can't. The word Mormon is too, too deeply ingrained and too easy to say. He went on, I quit trying. Let me explain why we care so deeply, so deeply, about this issue, and it is not inconsequential. I am not ashamed of the nickname Mormon. Look, he went on to say, if there is any name that is totally honorable in its derivation, it is the name Mormon. And so when someone asks me about it and what it means, I quietly say, Mormon means more good. Instead, it is a correction. It is the command of the Lord. And so, while I sometimes regret that people do not call this church by its proper name, I am happy that the nickname they use is one of great honor, made so by a remarkable man in a book which gives an unmatched testimony concerning the Redeemer of the world. Joseph Smith did not name the church restored through him, neither did Mormon. Anyone who comes to know the man more it was the Savior himself who said, through the reading and pondering of his words, For thus shall my church be called in the last days, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Anyone who reads this precious trove of history, which was assembled and preserved in large measure by him, will come to know that Mormon is not a word of disrepute, but that it represents the greatest good, that good which is of God. It was the modern translator of this ancient record who declared that through reading it a man would come closer to God than through the reading of any other book. All of this places upon the, us of this church and this generation an incumbent and demanding responsibility to recognize that as we are spoken of as Mormons, we must so live that our example will enhance the perception that Mormon can mean in a very real way more good. The name of the Church is not negotiable. If there is any name that is totally honorable in its derivation, it is the name Mormon. Mormon is not a word of disrepute, but it represents the greatest good. When the Savior clearly states what the name of His Church should be, and even precedes His declaration with, Thus shall my Church be called, He's serious. And if we allow nicknames to be used or adopt or even sponsor those nicknames ourselves, I am not ashamed of the nickname Mormon. He is offended. When it comes to nicknames of the Church, the Mormons, the Mormon Church, and so forth, such as LDS Church, the Mormon Church, or the Church of the Latter-day Saints, they could do worse. 
the most glaring omission is the absence of the Savior's name. To remove the Lord's name from the Lord's church is a major victory for Satan. When we discard the Savior's name, we are subtly disregarding all that Jesus Christ did for us, even his atonement. After all he had endured, and after all he had done for humankind, I realized with profound regret that we have unwittingly acquiesced in the Lord's restored church being called by other names, each of which expunges the sacred name of Jesus Christ. I testify that the Book of Mormon is the word of God, and that when people speak of us by the name of this book, they will compliment us if we will live worthy of the name, remembering that in a very real sense, Mormonism must mean that greater good which the Lord Jesus Christ exemplified.